start with all of the big palettes that I have by W7. So firstly we have the Love Fest palette. This is like a beautiful uh, Valentine's-y sort of day palette. It's got pinks and purples and also some sunny neutrals as well. That's going to stay. I tend to keep all of the non-dupe palettes just because it's actually nice to have a palette that you know is not a dupe of something. It is good the dupes, don't be wrong, I love doing them videos and it's a great option for people who can't afford high end. But when I have the high end version, I don't really see the point in keeping the dupe. So anyway, next we have the cool down eyeshadow palette. This is just a humongous cool tone palette, so that can stay. Next we have the Be Perfect Carnival. Oh my goodness, this is a Be Perfect palette, sorry. <laughs> I thought that was a W7 dupe, but the W7 dupe is actually here. <laughs> so this is the Mardi Gras palette. And I'm just going to completely contradict what I just said, but I am actually going to keep this because this is a really nice colourful palette. I know it's a dupe of Be Perfect, but I don't have any sort of like colourful eyeshadows from W7, so I'm going to keep this because it's really nice. So that was absolutely pointless what I just said, but anyway. And then we also have the Warm Up palette, and this is just a warm toned palette, so I'm going to keep that. Another biggish palette I have is the uh, Just Matte Eyeshadow palette. This is, yeah, just a pure matte neutral eyeshadow palette, so that's going to stay. And then these are all of my smaller W7 palettes. So this is the Sherbet Pop palette. I think this is a dupe of the Natasha Denona Pastels palette maybe, but I don't have that one. Um, so I'm 100% going to keep that. I have the W7 Influence palette. This is a dupe of Empowered by Huda Beauty. Have done a video comparison on this, so if you want to see if this is a dupe or not, definitely watch that video. Um, but I'm going to get rid of this because I have the Huda Beauty one. Next we have the Tokyo palette. Again, I'm going to keep this. This is a really nice palette because there's neutrals in here and then like loads of shimmers to choose from, so I'm going to keep that. I have the W7 Moon Glade palette. This is a dupe of the ABH Novu palette. Again, I've done a video comparing this to ABH Novu, so definitely check that out if you want to. Um, and yeah, I'm going to declutter this because I have the high-end version. Then I have the two Vickaboo collabs. I absolutely love her. She's so lovely. She actually follows me back on Instagram and TikTok, I think. She's just so nice. Um, and I believe this was her first one. I've got a lovely correct mirror in here, but this is the Let's Brunch palette. I love a good brunch. And then we have the Let's Party palette, which is a bit more deeper and more mauve tone, so that's staying as well. And then I have a little mini of the um, Eclipse palette, which is a dupe of Huda Mercury Retrograde. I'm going to keep that. It doesn't take up much room. And it slots in there very nicely. Okay, next I'm going to go in with the Be Perfect Stacey Marie palettes. These are actually the only Be Perfect palettes I have, um, just because I just, I just think the Stacey Marie ones are absolutely top tier. So... We have the Carnival XL Remastered. I did have the original XL Pro, um, not the first one, but the XL Pro, the second one with the highlighters. Um, and then I bought this one and I was looking at both and it really pained me to declutter the XL Pro, but I had to because this has all of the shades in it plus more because it doesn't have the highlighters in anymore. I absolutely used XL Pro to death in lockdown. Like that was my best friend in lockdown. Um, yeah, and it was really sad to get rid of it, but it had to be done. Then we have Carnival, the Antidote. This is the more like autumnal palette. We've got warm tones in here and greens. It's a very nice palette. We have Carnival Interstellar, which is this one honestly it's absolutely phenomenal this is such good quality and these shimmers here they look like glitters but the formula of them is absolutely unreal like it doesn't go on like a glitter like it goes on like a shimmer but it, oh my god they are just honestly the most stunning shimmers anywhere ever uh, eh? most stunning shimmers ever so that is not going anywhere and then lastly i have the as you saw have the carnival free 
um, it's such a beautiful bold and bright palette so that is going to stay so i'm going to put my few uh, glam light palettes at the front here and then i can go with uh, ColourPop on top so firstly i have the scooby-doo palette i've not even used this um me and Luce bought this i think on launch day um because i absolutely love scooby-doo um but this is the palette and yeah i've not not even used it i absolutely hate the fact that the that it doesn't even have names it just has numbers which is weird and i'm gonna slot that down the front here then i have my two michaela palettes i absolutely love michaela i know she's a bit controversial but i really like her this is her original glam light palette um i didn't get this until way after it launched actually more towards the second launch um and i've not used this but it's absolutely stunning and now that it's here in front of me i'm hoping i can use that more and then we have the second collab, which I have done a video on this. I bought the entire collection because, I, as I said, I really like Michaela. I have also bought her P. Louise stuff, which I've not even reviewed yet, and I really need to do that. But yeah, this is the second collab. And with that collab, there was also a part two sort of like pa uh, mini palette. It's got like neutrals and greens in it. It's absolutely stunning. And then I have a random icy palette, which is like a red palette. And I'm going to keep that because it's a a nice a nice like red palette slot them in the middle okay we're gonna fit color pop in this drawer as well here at the front so firstly i have the kathleen lights so jaded collab i got this as a, a birthday christmas present and i absolutely love it this is like a dual toned palette my other big one is rock candy and i think i could get rid of this actually yeah, I've not even touched it. I'm, I'm going to get get rid of that one. Next, we have Fade Into, into Hue, which is a bright, colourful um, eyeshadow palette, which makes you feel a bit better about getting rid of that XX Cloud palette because this is basically a bit more of a condensed version. And then I have all three of the Hocus Pocus Clubs, which I did not even realise they had done three palettes, but hey-ho. Um, this was the first one, I believe, which is an absolutely gorgeous palette. I think I did a video on it. I'm not, not too sure, actually. But that is staying. I paid a lot of money for it because I didn't think it was coming back in stock. So I bought it from someone on Depop and they charged an absolute fortune. This is um, Hocus Pocus 2 palette. I've not even used this, but I love Hocus Pocus. So that is not going anywhere. And that can come out at Halloween next year. I think that's bigger actually yeah it's a bigger palette and then this is the second one they released this is the witching hour eyeshadow palette and this is what it looks like i did do a video on this i believe um yeah a bit more on the neutral side and then i have a bunch of nine pans but these are like sort of like my mid sizey sort of palettes so firstly we have the flirty talk eyeshadow palette this was Valentine's Day this year, I think. It's an absolutely gorgeous pink palette. Um, so that is going to stay. I think I can take this out of the packaging now. Yes. Next we have the One and Done palette. This is an absolutely gorgeous neutral with pops of pink in. That can stay. This is the Snow White palette. This is a really good one. Love the colour story. Really fits theme well we have my colourpop powerpuff girls palette i think i might get rid of this one just because i have the three xx ones that fit their themes obviously to a t and obviously they've done it well with the matte and the shimmer but i think because i've kept the xx powerpuff palettes i'm gonna I'm gonna say goodbye to this one next we have the malibu barbie palette this is so beautiful i absolutely love this that is not going anywhere then i have the kathleen lights dream street collab what an absolute throwback friday <laughs> throwback friday it is actually friday today that i'm filming this um this is obviously very much discontinued like the so jaded palette um but i've had this for literal years and i wanted it so bad because i really loved kathleen lights back in the day like i know she still is around and does youtube but i just don't watch her anymore and i used to absolutely love her and then we have the Colourpop Nightmare Before Christmas palette and this is not going anywhere just because of the pure fact it is Nightmare Before Christmas. Fabulous. Okay, so now we can move on to the nine pan palettes. So firstly we have the Luna Has It 
palette. This was a, a palette for obviously the year 2021, as you can see, and this was because it was a year of the box, which is my year 1997 and then i have three of the star wars palettes these are all going to stay but i have firstly i've got the baby yoda palette i've got the darth vader palette which i don't even think i've used this one um and then i have the mandalorian palette and then i have the plasticky nine pan like monochromey one so let's just go through these so this is blue moon absolutely freaking stunning and i just the big P Louise the one though I really don't need this yeah I'm gonna get rid of this one I, I really don't need it I've got the P Louise one um this is the mint to be one this is gonna stay because it is a mint palette and I don't have anything like that in my collection this one is so beautiful this is wild card this is like that rich deep brown palette is absolutely gorgeous that one can stay this is the blowing smoke palette this is just like a smoky eyeshadow palette and to be honest with you, I think I could get rid of this because I've not even used it. It's completely untouched and I have my Natasha Denona Mini Zen on and I have loads of other palettes like this. So I'm going to get rid of that. Next we have Going Coconuts. This is such a beautiful, cool tone, travel friendly palette. So that is going to stay. And then we have On Cloud Blue. I, mm, oh, this one again is so beautiful. This one's a bit more of a, like a lighter bluey palette. So I don't need this but I got rid of Blue Moon so I feel like I can justify keeping that one and then lastly I have Aha uh -huh Honey um I have this because I don't have any other yellow palettes in my collection yes I've got palettes with yellows in them but this is just like a full dedicated yellow palette so I'm gonna keep that and that is this draw done so again so nice that I can just see everything okay and then this is the last eyeshadow palette drawer i'm gonna have in this set um i have more drawers in my alex drawers if there's any other ones like overflow wise but i have plenty of room in the other drawers so i shouldn't need to i did reorganize my revolution drawers this morning so i will show you clips of that before i end this video but this should be the last section of my eyeshadow palettes and I definitely have more eyeshadow palettes than this in terms of I've not got any of my cosmic brushes ones here apart from one. So I need to find the other three and put them in this drawer with the one I'm about to put in. So there are definitely some ones to go, but I will show you them along the way. So let's get into it. I think firstly we'll start off with Melt Cosmetics. So I do have the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, but I have not got around to putting that away yet. So I'm just gonna put all my other palettes in here firstly. So firstly, we have the Mary Jane palette. This is a beautiful, cool toned eyeshadow palette. So obviously that is staying. Next we have the Millennial Pink palette. This one is a really soft pink palette. It's got some deeper tones in here and the lighter pinks up there. I'm not getting rid of any of these. Spent a lot of money on them. This is Gemini 2. This is a bit more of like a burgundy sort of palette it's really beautiful i have the original gemini which is like a brownie khaki yellowy sort of palette absolutely stunning and then this is the 420 palette which is i just love it all of these like ugly colors isn't it but i just think that's absolutely beautiful and saying this i think i might put my nightmare for christmas palettes in the drawer with my like weird shaped palettes because they just don't fit aesthetically in these drawers properly so i might have to put them in there actually here we have the smoke sessions palette this is i think one of the first ones i actually got i think i'm pretty sure someone gave this to me which is really nice this has two mattes in it and the rest shimmer and then i have found a w7 howdy palette and i am actually going to keep this because i don't have the urban decay palette that that's duping so i'll put that in there and then from that last bit of pile i realized that this is actually an abh palette that needs to go in here it's a really long one so i'm just going to put it down mm, it doesn't fit with the any <laughs> i hate how long it is i'm just gonna have to put it at the back here because it's really long and i realized i didn't even show it this is the primrose eyeshadow palette it's got a bronzer a blush and then like an eyeshadow palette so that can go at the back because it doesn't fit in nicely and by the way this is the box of all the stuff i've got rid of it's actually crazy how many i've decluttered okay let's move on to Too faced so i have 
both of the Born This Way palette. We have the first one, which is a lot more softer, and then we have this one, which is a lot more deeper. Then I have the Pumpkin Spice Second Slice palette. These are all like limited edition palettes, but I love me a Too Faced palette, so these are all going to... I think most of these are going to stay. Then we have the first pumpkin spice palette. Again, that is going to stay. We have cinnamon swirl, which I think is the one that come before the pumpkin spice ones. Again, going to stay. And then this is the Italian spritz palette. Really pretty. I love that one. And then we have the little Too Femme eyeshadow palette, which is so much smaller than what I thought it was going to be. It's actually hilarious. So that one's going to stay. And then I have a load of smaller palettes by Too Faced. So firstly, I have the Just Peachy Mattes. Frank actually bought this for me, goodness, I want to say a good four or five years ago. Um, not going anywhere. Uh, actually, I'll put it like that. And then I have a load of these like little mini palettes, which I think I could definitely get rid of some. So firstly, we have a That's My Jam palette. This one has neutrals and purples and stuff in it. I think I'm going to say goodbye to that one next we have the salted caramel this is actually a really nice one so that one can stay we have the light my fire one which this is a really nice warm toned palette so that can stay and we have the let's play palette this one's a bit more pinky that one can stay and then i have a few of the christmasy ones so this one is christmas coffee it's smashed absolutely anywhere like anywhere everywhere these two face palettes are literally so fragile and then I have You're So Hot and Secret Santa, which I think were last year's palettes. And these ones have smashed everywhere. So I'm just going to put these at the bottom and just shove them at the back. But those are my Too Faced palettes and Melt. And then the rest of these are completely miscellaneous. Um, and what when I mean miscellaneous, I just mean like a load of different brands that are not brands I've shown you so far. So firstly, we're gonna start off with Cosmic Brushes. This is the Delicious Delights palette, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna start Cosmic Brushes pile down here because I have three palettes to add to this pile. I think I might actually have Winter Wonderland here, yeah. I have Winter Wonderland here, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is the one that I reviewed literally not too long ago and it's actually stunning so that's going to go at the front here and then i've got muse and serenity to add to these ones as well next we have this by give me glow cosmetics this is an absolutely gorgeous pink palette like look at that stunning i need to start like a bit of an indie brand pile so i'll start that here we have this by rude cosmetics this is the legally nude palette i think i'm just going to get rid of this because i don't use it it's really pretty and i do love legally blonde but i'm going to get rid of that one i have the opv uh, bloom eyeshadow palette i don't have any other palettes but opv so i think i'm going to keep this one it's a really bold and deep palette next i have the mad beauty friends eyeshadow palette i think they sent this to me a little while ago it is really really pretty Mm, and it's friends as well i'm gonna keep that oh they also sent me this nightmare before christmas eyeshadow palette a little while ago so that one can also stay as well and then my last sort of indie brand is ace beauté or beauty i'm not really too sure this is the falling for you palette i used this recently in my autumnal makeup tutorial um so that is going to stay and the last lot we have this palette by ciate i got this in the glossy box advent calendar if i could just get it out of the box that would be helpful this is what it looks like it's absolutely beautiful i was blown away with the fact that this was in the advent calendar i love that next we have nude prism by luna beauty i've used this in a full face first impressions it's absolutely stunning i have two studio london palettes here we have the bold heat palette which is a nice warm toned one and then we have uh, stripped back which is like a neutrally one with nice shimmers that can stay i've got the bh blueberry muffin palette i've literally got no bh palettes at all but this is a really nice periwinkle one and i've got two elf palettes i've got this one from the mini mint collection that come out ages ago and then i've got this all matte one which is called L i love you latte so those two can stay put those there and then we have this one. Frank bought this for me literally when we first got together, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I will never get rid of it because of that reason. So that can stay there as well. 
and yeah that is now all of my palettes i've got so much room for more which is nice i love always having more room i mean these have all taken up six drawers i probably could have fit these in that other one but because i've allocated six drawers to palettes plus the five drawers if i needed them um I'm actually happy with this because it means I can reach all of my palettes now rather than having everything clustered into a drawer. So I am super, super happy with this. And the fact that I've got rid of a huge box of palettes um, just says a lot. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Um, I am now gonna just quickly show you my Revolution drawers that I did earlier this morning. Okay, so what I decided to do was do one drawer full of the collab stuff and one drawer full of the normal stuff. So this is the collab drawer. It is very much packed to the absolute brim, but we have every single collab in here across all brands. So I'm very happy I've managed to fit all of that in one drawer. Um, doesn't leave me much room for much more collabs, but that means I'm just gonna have to be brutal and declutter more. And then this other drawer has all of the normal Revolution stuff in it, which is not actually showing you everything. Um, this is a lot less empty just because I've kept way more collab palettes than I have normal palettes and again this is across all brands Revolution, iHeart Revolution yeah I literally got rid of so many which I'm so proud of and we have a lot more room in here for more Revolution palettes so that's exciting okay and then the last thing I did was put all of the Revolution collab palettes that are really abnormal shapes like we have, you know, Bratz, the Coraline, Button, Grease, Friends, It, Emily in Paris, like all of them. I decided to just put them all in here because they just can't fit in them drawers nicely with everything else. Um, and it just keeps it all separately. So if I want to use one of the club palettes that's in an abnormal shape, I will come to this drawer. And I think I'll do that with other brands as well. Like anything abnormally shaped, I'm just going to put in this drawer here just to keep it all separate because it just won't aesthetically fit in my collection. So that is all of my palettes now organized, which feels so, so good. And it just means I'm gonna be able to reach for everything a lot more. I really hope you've enjoyed this part of the makeup organization. And my next videos is all gonna be complexion and like lip products. So if you have been watching these videos, thank you so much. Please leave a big, massive thumbs up. Let me know what you think of the series so far. And of course, if you haven't already, Please subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.